Hi, and welcome to Keysight Threat Simulator. I'll be demonstrating how a breach and attack simulation platform such as Keysight's Threat Simulator can be utilized to assess the security prevention capabilities of a web application firewall, such as Microsoft's Azure WAF. The OWASP Top 10 is a continuously updated report by security professionals around the world outlining the security concerns for web application security, focusing on the 10 most critical risks. The report represents vulnerabilities gathered from thousands of organizations and encompasses over 100,000 production applications. These vulnerabilities are selected by prevalence of data and estimates on exploitability, detectability, and potential impact to a given web application. Cross-site scripting vulnerabilities occur when a web application allows users to add custom code into a website that can be viewed and executed by other users. As an example, this vulnerability can be exploited to run malicious JavaScript code on a victim's browser if a website allowed code to be injected into a database, which is later accessed by a victim. To demonstrate this cross-site scripting attack in real time, I will demonstrate a simple book store application running in Azure on Nginx with a MySQL backend. The key elements that are required here include the Azure Gateway, associated listeners on ports 80 and 443, and a WAF bound to the application gateway, which is currently in detection-only mode and assigned to the OWASP 3.1 default rule set. So here we have a mockup bookstore that accepts input of new fields and allows anyone to view an entry based upon the book ID. After entering some legitimate data, let's perform a lookup of that record in the MySQL database. And the data is viewable as expected. This time, let's enter some malicious data that includes an embedded JavaScript code into one of the fields to demonstrate a persistent cross-site scripting attack. For this example, I'll be utilizing a JavaScript function to redirect the victim automatically to a mock-up website that shows a ransom dialog. After performing the lookup, the user will be redirected to that ransom dialog. And there we have it. The malicious code was successfully parsed and executed by the browser. This was essentially a result of insufficient input validation in the application itself, and also a deliberate misconfiguration on the WAF that did not prevent the malicious input from being executed successfully. Let's take a look at the Azure Firewall logs to determine if it detected this attack. Looks like it did. However, rather than detecting it as a cross-site scripting attack, it also detected it as an SQL injection attack, which is somewhat understandable since the input was part of an SQL statement. Now, let's take a look at the rule set to see what else can be blocked using Azure WAF. There are multiple categories in the default OWASP rule set, and most have many permutations. As a security analyst, you will need the ability to continuously assess the impact of configuration and rule set changes that will be required to be continuously updated and monitored. This is where Keysight Threat Simulator provides significant value and can be utilized to continuously assess the security posture of a web application firewall. For this assessment demo, I'll be inserting a Linux-based VM into the Azure backend pool to be the agent that will be simulating the web server and communicating to an emulated client simulation, which will now be referred to as the dark cloud. With the setup, Keysight Threat Simulator has the full advantage of emulating both the client and server to run various scenarios in an automated manner. Running the agent software for Threat Simulator is fairly straightforward. You have the option of using the Azure ARM template or downloading a bash script that can run on various Linux-based operating systems such as Ubuntu or CentOS. Once the agent software is successfully installed on a target VM, it will appear in the topology diagram with the name you provide. Clicking on it will reveal the status and additional information such as the public IP address that's reported. Then you can configure the additional properties so it can run behind a load balancer. And this is done by specifying the host name, target name, and the port. Now it's time to run a sample web application security assessment. There are two primary choices, a sample assessment called a demo web application security assessment consisting of 11 audits, or a much more extensive assessment called web application security with over a thousand audits. In the interest of time, I will select the demo assessment to determine how many the Azure WAF can detect and prevent out of the 11. Let's run the assessment by creating a new scenario. Let's also make sure the mode of the Azure WAF is now in prevention mode and that all rule sets are enabled. And over back to Threat Simulator to complete the scenario, let's select the applicable agent, provide a name, and click on Add and Run Scenario.
And there we have it. Two audits have failed out of the 11. Let's take a deeper look at the results. Out of the two that have failed, there's one that involves an arbitrary file upload attack, and another one that involves an SQL injection over Ruby over Rails. Taking a look at the recommendations, we can see the specific Azure rule sets that were supposed to also block these attacks. Let's take a look at the Azure firewall logs to get information on which attacks were matched and blocked by running a query. By skimming through these log entries, it's clear that not all 11 attacks were blocked. To gain additional proof, Threat Simulator can provide the recorded PCAPs from both the dark cloud and from the simulator web server. To obtain these PCAPs for a specific audit, I will click on the Details and PCAP Generation button, and then proceed to click on the PCAP icon for the audit in question. This function will result in two full session PCAPs, one from the cloud and one from the agent, running from the emulated web server. Based on this additional information and whether or not the vulnerabilities are applicable to the environment, as a security analyst, you can create a customized rule set in Azure to prevent such vulnerabilities from being exploited by preventing it at the WAF gateway. Thank you for your time for this demonstration. I hope this was informative.